Men's tennis has a rich history full of proud champions and magical moments. And this year, the ATP has launched a new initiative aimed at celebrating the former winners of the season-ending Barclays ATP World Tour Finals, as well as recognizing all singles and doubles players to have qualified for the tournament since it first began in 1970. The finals club was launched this week at the O2 and is the perfect way to honor those who were at the heart of putting tennis on the global stage that it is today. Alongside renaming the singles and doubles groups after legends of the tournament, it's been a privilege to have some of the greats of the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals back this year. This Finals Cup idea uh, is really special for us older players. Good, good idea. It's a great tournament and I'm glad to come with my little daughter. One, she's nine, nine and one twelve. It's a pleasure to be here and try to see this great tennis with the best players uh, and enjoy it. It's impressive, you know, and it's great for the sport of tennis. This is the culmination of, of everything that's gone before and it, it, it's difficult to envisage anything better than what we have at the O2. You know that all the players want to be in the year qualified for the Masters. Uh, it's, it's nice, you know, once you see playing the guys in the Masters, you remember when you were there. Everyone wanted to uh, play the Masters because Masters was something like that you prove that you are in the top eight players. We are very glad that the ATP recognized, you know, that we were the pioneers playing, you know, the masters and that is why they invite us and we are very happy to be here. It's continued to grow and get bigger and better and uh, so to be invited back here to share in this ATP final is, is, is really special.